Welcome back to the Workplace Wizards. Today we're going to be talking about the Food Order Restaurant Management System, otherwise known as Forms. Now I have two versions available, one of which is with alcohol and the other one's without alcohol. What we're looking at and what we're going to be doing today is the version with alcohol. All right, let's start off with the instructions tab at the bottom of the sheet. And I have what they call step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the form. Uh, or how to print the form once it's completed, how the order sheets themselves, how to save the forms as a template, how to create the form sheet from a template, how to store the forms once the entire week has been completed, how to unlock and make changes and protect the sheets. And just so you know, uh, yes, you can unlock the sheets, and if you want to make some adjustments or, or update your pages, you're more than welcome to. If you're not familiar with Excel, Contact us at WorkplaceWizards.com, and we will go ahead and do that for you for a small fee. Um, two ways to protect the sheet are with a password or without a password. Now, if you do protect it with a password, make sure you keep that uh, password somewhere where you can find it at a later time. If you lose it, it's unretrievable. So that's why we uh, suggest saving it without a password. For customer support, you can call us at 1-800-753-0657, or you can email us at contactus at workplacewizards.com. All right, let's get started here, everybody. Let's start with the calendar sheet. All right, Jeff's Cafe. I went ahead and put that ahead of time. Now, once you uh, put your business name in up here, this is the only place you need to do it. It's going to automatically populate every single sheet in the system. Cool, huh? Now, we also have drop-down boxes, as you can see. So as you enter your information in here, if you're looking for a particular date, you're going to unselect all. Let's say you're looking for uh, the fourth. Okay, then you're going to hit it, click it, and it's just going to bring up the fourth for you. So that's just in case there's a particular day you want to know what's going on on that day. Rather than having a look at the whole calendar and just kind of by mistake, you'd be looking at a different day. And that happens. All right, so I'm going to unselect. Let's get back to normal view. All right, some of the things that you can put in here, of course, is your delivery dates, uh, order dates. Maybe you're out of a particular item and you want to let the shifts know that you're out of it so they can tell the servers and the cooks. Um, you can put uh, discrepancies. Uh, you can put uh, customer complaints, maybe some reservations, um, maintenance issues, anything in here um, so that the managers, before they take over a shift, they review the calendar so they set themselves up properly and that the ship will run much smoother knowing what's going on for the day. So this is a great tool. I would advise using it. Let's head over to the contact list. Another great tool. Um, it's a vendor's contact list. You can use it for anything. Got a bit of information on the left-hand side on how to use the system. Uh, when you do the drop-down box, it automatically uh, click on the box. It's going to have in there pre-set up items that are in there. If you see uh, that you don't have a particular item in there, just scroll down to the bottom of the page. You'll see uh, an area right here of where I've added these items in automatically. Uh, at the bottom, just feel free to type in what you want to be put into that area, and it'll automatically show up uh, in your drop-down box. So you can adjust it, or you can erase one of them and add something different that's fine. So you got your category type, business name, address, phone, cell, and email. This form is printable. So all you got to do is hit the file, hit print, and it'll have four pages available. Now, if you are a small business and you only have one page full of information, of course, uh, you can select one of one and it'll only print the one page. All right, so let's move along here. Uh, let's see what we got. We got the vendor log, another great tool. You got the week beginning date. Just make sure that what week it is, you put the right date in, and this will automatically populate every uh, sheet in the page in the, in the workbook all right so let's take a look at this we've got the invoice number we got the supplier date credit amount and amount we got a food supplier and then I went ahead and put in uh, Cisco foods with an invoice number the date and the amount automatically brings the amount down here and then if there was a credit amount it'll automatically subtotal it there you got a comment section so you can write your comments in if there's something particular you want to uh, put in there uh, you got uh, liquor, beer, you got wine, uh, other beverages and condiments, paper, chemical, and other. And then down below are your quick at a glance totals. Uh, your food, paper, wine, chemical, 
Before credit, after credit, same thing with the liquor, beer, wine, other beverages. Total credits and after credits. Before and after credits. So what you're looking for is the after credit. So anytime that you have an item uh, that uh, credit was applied to, the real total that you really want to be looking for, I guess, is going to be the after credit amount. All right, let's head right up. I think we're good on that. Uh, product order count sheet. Um, Jeff's Cafe automatically populates from the calendar area. The date automatically populates from the vendor area. This is the vendor sheet. Basically looking at code, uh, product code, product name, units of measure, unit price, and price count. And then you have your build twos. Let's start with this. When you first get the system, you should set up each page uh, with all your product code information, your name, uh, units of measure, and your unit price. And what I would recommend is start on one side, go up and down, all the way around. So as you're doing this order, you're not jumping around in the storage rooms and the freezer. It's an order. All right. So once you put this stuff in, automatically in, and I'm going to show you this going down the uh, page here. You got the walk-in pool flow. You got the walk-in regular. You got the freezer. Um, Etc. All populates. Once you enter your information in here, it's all going to populate to various pages. For instance, you have your product order count sheet, input sheet. So as you print out your count sheet, you're going to print this form out, hit file, hit print. It's only going to print out your basic form. It's going to print out, I think, 20 pages. Um, and if you don't want all the 20 pages to print out, of course, you can do one of one or two of two, whatever page you're looking for. All right, so once you print this out, put it on a clipboard, walk around, do your counts for your order. All right, and then once you get your order, if, if it's your produce order, go to the produce order input sheet and start inputting your information. Remember, over to the left here, your product information, the name and the units of measure are all protected and shaded um, because that populates from various other sheets. So you don't have to do this one-shot deal. All you need to do is put your inventory. Um, so once you do your inventory, it's going to subtract out your bill too. It's going to give you what your order is. Pretty nifty. Above here are your dates. All you got to do is put your, your order date. So if your order date was on a Tuesday, you're going to put uh, 0807 2012, and it's going to mark the date. And so I left you five columns in case there's five different orders. All right. So uh, and if you go all the way down, you can see what the form looks like. All right, we're going to go to the product order or itself. Now, <clears throat> again, once you're done, this sheet's completely protected. So up here we see a data order. Once you enter your, your dates up here, it's going to automatically populate to your order dates here. All this information on this whole sheet populates from very different sheets. Basically, you can print this form out, and uh, it tells you what your order is. So that way you can either fax it to where you got to go, or if you're going to do it over the phone, you're going to go ahead and uh, have the sheet uh, handy, and you can put the order in from there. It's pretty cool. You can even got a filter if there's a particular code you're looking for or a product name you're looking for. Uh, you can do that as well. It'll only bring up that item. All right. Every single sheet is set up the same. You got a walk-in. You got a walk-in order sheet. You got a freezer. You got a freezer order sheet, dry storage, dry order sheet. You got a cleaning and chemical order sheet, and then you got the order uh, it, that was the input sheet. You got the order sheet there. You got your general and supply sheet and your input sheet here. This is your order sheet. Then we got alcohol. This is your count sheet for your alcohol. Same scenario. Uh, you need to set this up just like you did with the product order count sheet, except this is alcohol. Set it up because you got your liquor. You got your beer kegs. You got your beer six packs. Uh, you got your wine and alcohol condiments straight down. All right, so it's a very useful form. Uh, same scenario. Uh, you don't need to do anything but fill in your inventory amounts here. All, this fig all these figures populate from your alcohol order count sheet. So once you put it here, it's going to automatically show up here. Same thing with your bill two amounts. Uh, for all five, we all five uh, orders, it's going to automatically populate from your bill two part amounts here in the alcohol order count sheet. All right, so you got your liquor. You got your beer, you got your wine. Each one will have their own order sheet. So once you're done putting in your, uh, uh, inputting your order amounts uh, of whatever your order it was, 
uh, then it's automatically going to show up here. You can print these forms out and again uh, place your order or you can fax it, whichever comes first. All right, and it goes all the way up to the condiment supplies input, which you can use the condiment supplies, maybe paper, uh, not paper, but, but uh, glassware, silverware, uh, um, shark knives for like alcohol, for cups, cherries, uh, all sorts of things that you have for condiments. All right, so now that we're done explaining the sheet, uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free, feel free to contact us at contact us at Workplace Wizards. We can call us directly at our 1 800 number. Um, I'm glad we enjoyed the sheet today, and I hope that you find it useful. Have a great day.